Dominic Toretto is a legend, give him a car, preferably a Dodge Charger and his crew, he can take over a country. Dom is always ready for any kind of situation, a total badass who's always observant and apparently invincible. <laughs> Today in this video I'm gonna talk about Dominic Toretto, including his biography, story, family and his abilities. So if you are a fan of Fast and Furious franchise and Dom is your favorite character, stay with me cause I'm gonna tell you everything about him. Where are my manners? Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Professor Mo, if this is your first time here, welcome in and if you've seen my videos before, then welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get started! Dominic Toretto is the main character in the Fast and Furious franchise who is portrayed by Vin Diesel. Before we go into details, let me take a moment and say, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched any of Fast and Furious franchise and you wanna watch it, you might wanna save this video for later, but make sure you'll watch it, okay? Promise? Pinky finger? To be honest with you, if you haven't watched any of these movies, that means uh, you're not a fan and probably you're not gonna watch it. So, you're fine, stay with me, <laughs> and you will get a clue about Fast and Furious movies, yeah. Oh, if Fast and Furious Nan is the only one you need to watch, then don't worry about it, I'm gonna tell you whenever I start talking about it, okay? Okay, okay! Dominic Toretto is the oldest child and son of Jack Toretto, the brother of Jacob and Mia, husband to Larry Ortiz, and the father of Brian Marcus. We didn't know that Dom has a brother, thanks to Fast and Furious Nan, now we know. Hmm. We'll get to that later. Uh. Dominic is an elite street racer and auto mechanic, a man with a strong moral code and family values. Dominic began as a career criminal who robbed trucks to support his family. Then from the professional circuit, Dominic relied on illegal quarter mile race to satisfy his passion for racing. When he meets Brian O'Connor, his family is torn apart by the revelation that Brian is an undercover cop. Dominic escapes the United States and reestablishes a new crew, home sweet home. running several jobs around Central and South America. He joins forces with Brian again after returning to Los Angeles to avenge the apparent death of his wife Letty Ortiz. After helping incarcerate drug lord Arturo Braga, he was sentenced to prison for 25 to life for his previous crimes before escaping the law and fleeing to South America once more, where he and his crew came into conflict with corrupt businessman and drug lord Ernan and diplomatic security service agent Luke Hobbs in Rio de Janeiro. And then Dominic earned his freedom after he and his crew helped Hobbs to take down the former British Special Forces soldier Owen Shaw while rescuing an amnesiac lady. He settles the score with the Shaw family after defeating the card Shaw, the man responsible for seemingly killing his friend Han Solo. That was sad, that was one of the saddest moments in Fast and Furious. It was, truly. Mm. Later, he was forced to betray his team due to Cypher threatening his son, but with the help of the Shaw brothers, he was able to rescue his son and rejoins the team. Yay! Welcome back, Dom! <laughs> oh my god. Fast and Furious 8 was full of savage moments. <laughs> Dominic Toretto savage moments. Jesus Christ, a whole army was after him, but they couldn't catch him. How? <sighs> Very unrealistic. Well, all of this was just a short backstory. There are so many details in the movies. Um, I'm a big fan of Fast and Furious franchise, and I've seen all of them quite a few times. Um, and every time I notice new things. I guess that's how it works for all the movies. Like the good movies. Fast and Furious is the worst movie. <laughs> Alright, let's just let it go for now. Dominic has been described as a family guy. He puts family first. Dominic is very protective of Mia and extremely loyal to anyone he considers family. You don't turn your back on family. Even when they do. He will do anything he can for them. That's why he said, I have no friends. I got family. I don't have friends. I got family. That's my favorite quote. Dominic is 6.1 and weighs 215 pounds with muscular build. Yeah. He's huge. He has proven himself to wield immense strength and durability as well as surprisingly fast and agile, being quite athletic due to his extensive life in street racing and his stint in prison. That makes sense, he's a street guy. You thought this was gonna be a street fight? You're goddamn right it is. Our guy Dominic can generate nearly superhuman strength. I think we all know that. The street 
always wins. Yeah, Dominic is a superhuman. Hmm. Let's forget about Dominic and talk about Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> Everything was pretty much realistic, or at least was close to be realistic. Even when Domino Connor used two dot charger to pull the safe. Although after the investigation, I realized it was a fake vault and they actually used a manual transmission in it to just make those uh, chase scenes, which was cool. I, I liked it. It was awesome. Like that safe in the street, they were dragging it. It was dope. <laughs> In Fast and Furious 6, they changed everything pretty much. When Dom caught Letty in the air, which was badass, don't get it wrong. Plus, um, they stopped an airplane with just cars. How? And then, same thing happened in Fast and Furious 7 and Fast and Furious 8. Yeah, in Fast and Furious 7, Brian survived the Randolph bus. Oh my god, the timing was just perfect. He was just running on the bus just to make it there, and then Letty caught him. It was cool. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That was one of the best scenes. Alright, now let's jump into Fast and Furious 9. I have some serious question. Spoiler alert, you might want to skip a minute, a minute and a half if you haven't watched Fast and Furious 9, so do it. Why are you waiting? Dom is the master of catching people with his car while falling. He can catch anyone. <laughs> In Fast and Furious 9, it happened like quite a few times. First time it was Letty and then uh, later he caught his brother. Okay, yeah, the guy is just too good when driving. I understand. No, I can't. What kind of movie is that? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fast and Furious 9 had a gazillion unrealistic scenes which I cannot understand. Ah. Uh, Dom is the best driver in the entire world. We all know that. Nothing is wrong. His crew, they're amazing. Just like Roman said, they're invincible. No, well, in the previous movies, they kind of made all of us ready for more unrealistic scenes, I would say. As I mentioned earlier. But in like in Fast and Furious 9, there are some certain parts that I cannot understand. I cannot even process it. Right now when I think about it, my brain starts farting. Oh, did you hear that? It's my brain farting. Like how the hell Roman and Tej went to space with a car equipped with a jet engine and a bunch of duct tapes. Can someone explain that to me, please? Well, if the movie was in the future, just like 50 years from now, I could take it, you know? But don't tell me it's just a movie, because in some point, movies need to make sense. That was just too much, man. Okay, let's just uh, recapitulate this video. I'm a big fan of Fast and Furious franchise. I know, I've said it three times in this video. I'm glad I finally know the backstory of Dom. Although Fast and Furious 9 was just kind of frustrating. But it was an amazing movie. I acknowledge that and you should as well. I know, we are frustrated. I had a great time watching the movie, but they went too far. Anyways, if you see Dominic Toretto, just make sure you don't mess with his family. He ain't joking, man. Alright, I hope you guys had a good time watching this video. Leave a comment down below and like the video. Just come on, do I have to mention this every single time? And of course, subscribe to my channel. Life is short. Subscribe. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks again for watching, guys. I love you all. Peace out. Professor Mo.